What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. Now today we're going to be doing some Bonanza and I'm going to be using apparently the best glue gunner strategy. So this was made by Boltrix. Uh, I'll link his video in the description. And basically he used the glue gunner, the village and the ice tower. So no farm, we're gonna have to go eco. I'll link his video of course and his channel in the description of the video. Also he recently brought out his merch so I'll link that too. Also guys, if you didn't already know, I have merch as well. The link is in the description, please buy some. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. So yeah, we don't have farm, which really sucks. Imagine if we got farm for our fourth tower. Okay, that is not great. We don't need this at all, actually. So I guess let's just... No, oh, he skipped that. Okay, actually, that's kind of good because I don't like that map. Uh, Park is honestly much better. So let's say late game. Let's hopefully he goes late game with us. Uh, let's bring all of these towers. So, of course, the village is going to be really, really useful. Um, okay, so we have one more chance to get farm. <gasps> Bro, we got the balloon chipper. Okay. Next income earned is doubled. We got boost your income by eight times. Okay, that's that's three uses, though. So, surely that's better. And then I guess we can bring that as well. Can we... I'm just going to keep on saying late game. No, he's giving us the smug smile. Does he not want to go late game? Guys, make sure, by the way, I'm probably going to do a stream tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you are notified for when I stream. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that will go well. I mean, the last stream was very interesting. Like, actually, it was a stream before that. I got put, I got put in the hacker pool and my game cr completely crashed as well. It was interesting. Anyway... We're going to start off with an ice tower. We are literally going eco. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't gone eco in Bonanza in quite a long time. I feel really strange not having any farms. Um, hopefully, this guy is going to go late game with us. Otherwise, I have no idea what's going to happen, dude. Because we have ice, we have glue, and we have village. The only thing that's really good against more class balloons is the um, energy beacon of the village. But that is so expensive. It's really, really expensive. At least we have slowdown. But by the looks of things, our opponent has the ninja, which means he has slowdown as well. So basically, I'm really worried about this. I don't know if this, if this is going to work. Let's just upgrade this a bit more. Ice tower is definitely useful. It's a really good tower. I don't know if we would have been better off with ninja though. Like instead of ice tower, like bro... This is, this is not a good, this is not the best glue gunner strategy, Boltrix. <laughs> but let's just see if we can win with that. Boltrix is a really nice guy. Make sure to check him out if you haven't already. But you guys probably already know who he is. Uh, we're probably going to go for an Arctic Wind. Because that just slows down everything in the radius. And it's basically just an amazing tower. Although I'll probably place it in a different part of the map though. Yeah, I think I might put it right here. Because I, I feel like that's going to, like, the range is... Actually, no, I'm going to put it here, I think. Because the range on it is absolutely huge. Like, seriously, it is really, really big. Uh, let's go for it. Look at this. Look at this. That is a huge range for an Arctic win. So let's sell this. Let's get those upgrades. Let's keep on ecoing. We've got 800 eco, basically. It's not good. It is really not... Okay. Okay, so he has ninja... He has boomerang and he has farm. Now, I don't know. One of those may be his fourth tower or something. But, like, uh, still, he probably has super monkey. In fact, he definitely has super monkey. I'd be so surprised if he bought all of those towers for his, like, first three towers. Because, like, boomerang does not make sense in Bonanza. To bring boomerang to a Bonanza match... I mean, it is yellow stadium, so it's not like I'm going to be getting the best opponents. But this guy seems to be very decent, at least, for the skill level. Because, like, he is farming. He is farming really well. He did actually send stuff at me. I guess maybe he was going for a rush against me. Also, guys, can we try and hit 3,000 likes on this video? Everybody, that, if everybody that's watching up to this point right now just takes like two seconds out of the day to like the video let's see how many we can get on this video i really want to try and hit 3000 we haven't had that in a while but anyway okay so he is sending me eco as well so is he going like a mixed eco strategy is he trying to kill me i don't know and i probably will never know but like unless this guy uh like comments on the video but like i don't think that's gonna happen but anyway our eco is going fairly well i guess he could actually you know if he wanted to kill us Yes, I told you. I told you. I said it. Super Monkey is... Why did you just use a tower boost? Bro, why did you do that? Okay. So he just used a tower boost, which is stupid because, like, that you don't need to... You didn't need to use that. Dude, okay. Anyway. We're going to save up for an MIB, which luckily... Oh, God. Oh, God. Are we okay? Are we okay? Um... 
Oh god, this is worrying me. This is really worrying. We're gonna have enough though. We're gonna, yeah, and look, it's doing damage. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Let's get the MIB. Um, this probably won't help that much with anything, but dude, the balloons are gonna go so slowly. Because they're in the radius of the ice tower. After they're frozen, they move more slowly. And then we have the glue gunner as well. If you sent me a really big reach and rainbow rush, I'm kind of, I don't know, like, would we be able to defend it with just this? I think we'd be able to defend it with just this, with an arctic wind and a corrosive glue. He keeps using tower boost, which is very confusing, because he really does not need to use his tower boost. Maybe he thinks it's something else. Bro, okay, so he's going for a regen at camo zebra rush against me right now. Let's see how well we do against this, and the answer is... We're doing pretty well against this. Hopefully things don't regen too much. Like, that will be a disaster. I don't think they will, though, because the- Why is he using his tower boosts? I have no idea. Why- Why is he- Why is he using his tower boosts? I am so confused, but okay, you can keep on doing that. Um, he's probably, like, mistaking it for something else. Anyway, it's round 16. We're not going to use our eco amplifier or whatever. No, it's not eco amplifier. But we'll use whatever it is when we get to, like, round 25 or something. Or maybe I'll just get impatient and, like, use it before then. Anyway, ZOMGs can come on the next round. Sorry, not ZOMGs. What am I talking about? Not ZOMGs. Uh, mobs can come on the next round, which is really worrying. So, we have to save up 10,800 for this. He is sending camo regen rainbows right now. He is sending camo regen rainbows right now. It's really, it's not going to do anything. Dude, it's not actually going to do anything. Seriously, look, I have my zero zero glue gunners. I have my zero zero glue gunners right here to take out the rush. He is going for his temple. Nice. I really want to go late game. I feel like this this guy is just trying to kill us though, which is like fair enough. Like the point of the game is to kill me, but still, I don't want him to kill me. I don't want to die anyway. Um, let's go for this ice tower right there. We can really fit lots of these in. But yeah, we'll definitely need this. Remember, the ice shots can do really good damage to mob class balloons as well. Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. Of course he is going for a mob. And that did really well. Let's just set this to strong just to make sure we get all of those layers. Okay, so he has actually a bloom boost, which is kind of scary because it speeds things up or something. Um, so I'm a bit worried because of that, but it's okay. Um, let's just get another Arctic Wind right here. Uh, this this strategy is not good. This strategy is not good. Bolt tricks. This, this is not a good strategy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anyway, let's keep on going for the Arctic Winds. Dude, he's just going. He's going for a BFB, isn't he? I'm just going to use this now. 320 eco. Nice. But yeah, so I really... I don't know what to do, man. Like, he's, he's just going to try and get the kill against me. Which is sad. I, I don't want to die. I really don't. Um, let's keep on getting... We don't even have enough money, dude. This is not good. This is really not good. Um, we don't have enough money to even take out those mobs. Right, okay, so... We need to do that. Dude, can we please take it out already? Oh my god, are we gonna die? Are we actually gonna die against this? You know, this calls for desperate measures, guys. This... This calls for desperate measures. We are using the balloon chippers, guys. We are using the balloon chippers. I know we're using our fourth tower, but I, I really think I need it. I really think I need it. I need to use my fourth tower, which it's okay. It's not like that bad cheating, but still, I'm kind of sad we have to use it, but it's okay. We're going to make things work. We're going to make things work. Um, it looks like we're doing really well with everything, basically. Like, the balloons are absolutely fine. So, I guess now what we're going to do is we're going to spam up balloon chippers as our more popping power weights. No, we can't do that, though, because we can't pop zero MGs with the chippers. Okay, this this is this is this has become really interesting. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to have a bunch. Let's sell those. We need to have a bunch of villages popping all of the ZMGs. So I'll put all of those like here. We need quite a few of them. We do need quite a few of them. Um, so let's put them all here. We need to probably get some more eco as well because we really haven't been ecoing. So he's getting temples up. He's getting all of those super monkeys up. He's just going late game, but he doesn't want to go late game with me because he keeps trying to kill me. Which is fine, like, the whole point of the game is to win. But, like, I just want to have a nice late game battle. Oh, dude, he's going for another rush. I swear. This guy... Okay, okay, let's just get two of these. Set to strong. He definitely sent us the OMG. There we go. There we go. Let's get the monkey fort. Let's get the jungle drums. 
Uh, these are all set to strong, I believe. So that's going to do really good damage. That's going to do really good damage. Let's use this. Give us a nice 300 eco. There we go. Uh, let's use... Why didn't we slow it down sooner? I'm such an idiot. We really needed to slow that down. Anyway, so now let's go for this so we can suck all of those in. Um, this isn't ideal. I'd rather eco a bit more. And like, you can see we're kind of struggling. Bro, we're really struggling, actually. Uh, I really need more of these balloon chippers. I really do. Um, let's just keep on getting as many as we can. We're fine against the balloons, remember? The balloons are absolutely fine. We're fine against them. Uh, I'm just worried because we don't have enough eco. We really don't have enough eco to deal with all of these ZOMGs. That is a lot of ZOMGs on my side right now. Just look at that. Hopefully, we have enough firepower to deal with it. Like, we're not going to get an opportunity like this again, having the balloon chipper as our tower. Um, anyway, so let's go. Dude, it's so expensive. It is so expensive. Okay, there we go. There we go. Set to strong. Let's slow it down again with the ability. Hopefully, we can deal. Guys, if we didn't have the balloon chipper, we would just die. Like, seriously, the balloon chipper is going to help us so, so much. Um, we are really struggling, though. We are really struggling. Um, I think we're going to be okay, though. Remember, we can use our, our, our more power if we do need to. Dude, he's just sending endlessly. He really just wants to kill me. He really just wants to kill me. Dude, I just want to go late game with you. But okay. Um, Wait, do we have an MIB ability that we can use? Oh, it's 18,000. We definitely don't have enough money for that. We definitely don't have enough money for that. Okay, we're going to deal with this absolutely fine though. Because like the balloons are just going to get just, just demolished. Because I have ice. I have glue. Like, and uh, the ice tower, the arctic wind paired with the MIB... Literally nothing is getting past that combo. I swear nothing is getting past. Let's use another one of these. Let's get another one of these uh, One of these villages probably needs to be this. There we go. Nice. Let's use another ability Okay, so basically we defended against that just fine um, We don't have that much defense though. We really need more defense right now Okay, this only round 28 as well when we get to round 32 Things are gonna get a lot more difficult like they really are because everything gets ramped and the ZMGs get faster, they get stronger. I don't know if we're going to be able to defend with what we have, but we have to try. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to keep on ecoing. Then when I got a bit more eco, I need to spam more balloon chippers. I need to spam more of those energy beacons. Um, we're fine on ice towers, honestly. Like, we've got a really good amount of ice towers. They're kind of our last line of defense because they do so much damage. And also, of course, we have to slow down. Uh, so let's put that one right there. There we go. The Arctic winds are literally going to save us so much. Let's get an MIB right there. And we'll get an MIB right there. That's 36,000 just gone getting those two abilities but i really feel like they'd be good now i could kill this guy honestly before he kills me i just don't want to go for a rush against him i really don't but this strategy is so good especially as we have the balloon chipper like without the balloon chipper this would not have worked this really wouldn't have worked. We would have been dead so quickly. Cool. You, well, you saw we almost died because one energy beacon just simply wasn't enough. Anyway, it looks like for now he stopped sending us stuff because maybe he's realized that it's really not going to do anything. Now, if he starts to rush us on the next round with like more powerful ZMGs. We may have to use, well, we have our more boost thing to use against those. I, yeah, I, I called it. I called it. I knew he was going to go for it. I knew it. I knew it already. Dude, I literally, I knew he was going to go for a rush against me. So this is probably his, like, big, it's not really an all-out rush, but um, let, let's just see what happens. We need to get more of these. Uh, we also need to spam more balloon chippers as well, obviously, because the balloon chippers are really, really useful. But yeah, everything is going to be a bit harder to kill now. Like, seriously, it's going to be a lot harder now. But I believe we can do it. I believe in the balloon chippers. I believe in the villagers. If we do manage to defend against this, it'll be such an awesome defend. But that is a lot. That is a lot of ZOMGs right there. It really is. Let's get another one of these. We have a lot of money, though. We really do. But, like, as you can see, things are already getting pretty far on my side. Uh, let's just keep on going for these. Set them to strong. There we go. I uh, We're going to be fine against all of the balloons. It's just... It is the ZOMGs I'm really worried about. It, it, I'm so scared of them because they're, they're, look how far they're getting on my side. My God. Okay. They're getting really far. Let's use one of those. Uh, let's keep on getting all of these. Okay. I, I think we're going to die against this rush. Like, it's absolutely massive. It is massive. This rush is absolutely huge. Okay. So, oh my God. Are we going to lag out? Dude, the ice shards. It's the ice shards. The, I told you, our last line of defense, it does so much damage when there are balloons in the way. We just absolutely crushed that rush. We just crushed it. Oh my god. The ice shards is doing so much work. 
I did not expect that, guys. I did not expect that at all. We're really demolishing everything right now. Seriously, the ice shards. It just destroyed. You saw all of that lag. That was the ice shards. Oh my god, maybe we should have got, gone for more of those instead of the balloon chippers or something. But yeah, that definitely fills me with more confidence right now. That really does. Seeing how well we did against that rush, because this is around 30... Like, it's around 35 right now. Dude, the ice shards, they do so much damage. And we just defended. Well, not quite. Not not yet. But we're, we're on our way to defending. And we have so much eco. Like 10,000 eco. We're going to get so much money to keep on getting these villages. Keep on defending his rushes. This is such a weird defense. But oddly, it really works. And I'm just going to fit in random ice shards where we can. And look, it's such an ugly defense. Like we have things all over the place. Did he just really send me a Moab or something? He just sent me a Moab. He just sent me one single Moab. I don't get that at all. But okay, you can do whatever you want. Because it looks like we're going to defend everything you send at us. Which is really, really awesome. Dude, he's going for more. He's going for more. Oh my god, he's going for more ZOMGs. What is this guy doing? Okay, let's just slow it down again. Uh, let's go for another one of these. He's just endlessly trying to kill me with these ZOMGs. Obviously, eventually we will die because it's going to become too much. But for now, like, we are absolutely fine, basically. We're doing really, really great. Um, we we kind of re re relying on uh, the ice shards to do maximum damage to, like, all of the ZOMGs. And yes, everything is going to get a bit too powerful eventually, of course. Because it is round 37. Things are getting a bit faster. But I, I really, I don't really want to rush him at all. I just want to see how long we can defend uh, with our ridiculous defense. Like, it's so, it's whack. It's really weird, but it's working for us. Okay, so let's use another ice ability. Hopefully, the ice shards does work like it did last time. Like, seriously, the ice shards, it did so much damage to the ZMGs. Just look at these ZMGs right now. It might do it again. It might not. Actually, it looks like it isn't, bro. I'm not even sure what to expect anymore. But I just know that we have a really good defense. I Are we going to be okay against this rush, though? Are we going to be okay? I really don't want to die. I really don't want to die against this. Remember, these ZMGs are really powerful. They're really strong. So we might have a bit of trouble against these, but it's okay. Let's just see what happens. Let's use these MIBs as well. Okay, so he's going for even more against me right now. He's going for even more. Dude, okay, things are getting really far on my side now. They, they are. Okay, let's use another ice ability. I'm kind of relying... Okay, let's just use Big Balloon Buster. I want to see how much work this does. It probably will do a lot. Okay, they're getting really far to the end now. They're getting really far to the end. Okay, guys, wait, I just remembered. We have the ability on the Bloom Chipper. Like, we have the Bloom Chipper ability, which is actually good. Oh, God, the Ice Shards is doing stuff. Oh, my God. Can you see all that lag? Like, the Ice Shards does so much work. I can't even see what it's doing. I just know it is doing so much damage right now. Oh, my God. Every my no, he's face farming me. He's face farming me. Wow, okay. My, my strategy is actually good, dude. Okay, but you can see... They're getting to the end right now. They're getting to the end. He is face farming us. Why is he face farming us? This is such an amazing strategy. This is so fun. It's better than your strategy with the temples and everything. Like, this is genuinely fun. And we are causing a lot of lag right now. We're causing so much lag, which makes me really happy because it's probably annoying him. And he face farmed me, so I want to annoy him back. Uh, let's use this. Another super vac ability. Dude, I don't even know how we're alive right now. How are we alive right now? Seriously, how are we alive right now? Let's just keep on using the ice ability. Let's keep on using the super vac. Okay, we died, but we managed to defend for a long time there. Getting to round 40. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that was a really, really fun game. Good late game battle. And yeah, see you in the next video.